Hi, Mark. <laughs> Hi, Melinda. <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, just wanted to ask you what Software AG is actually doing in this ELISA project. In ELISA, we teach people business process management with Aris in a virtual reality environment. So we simulate a simple business process here just to show people a completely different user experience. So it's a really great idea and um, I'm sure like a lot of the viewers, I'm wondering where did the idea come from? Oh, about two years ago, um, project partners from us from the University of Siegen, Professor Niehavis, did uh, call me on my mobile phone. I was just at the end of my business trip and uh, he told me uh, they just have a fancy idea trying to experiment with virtual reality, business process management. And so we agreed, okay, this is really a cool idea to combine, to mix this also with gamification and serious gaming for at the end to have a learning environment for business process management. He knows Aris also for, for a couple of years from the other projects we already did and so yeah, now we are here. I actually got a chance to try the, the virtual reality experience that you guys have here before at the IT summit in Zapwerken. Yes. and I really liked it and yeah. so if someone out there wants to try it themselves when is the next chance that they can do it? Uh, the next time we, you have a chance to try it by yourself is uh, we will show this also at the Girls' Day mm -hmm. in Darmstadt and in Saarbrücken. Yeah. And um, at the, the university, at the Career Day also in Saarbrücken okay. and at the Future Congress, Zukunfts Congress in Bonn. Unfortunately, only in Germany. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you have it, you guys. If you want to check it out, you got to come here to Germany. So you mentioned earlier there's three possible use cases for ELISA, and I was hoping you could maybe explain those three. Yes, of course. We have um, the first use case that we could train um, a specific process by virtual, virtual reality. The second one is that we could train people how to become a process architect so that um, yeah, you just learn how to recognize processes in real life and transfer them into an Aris diagram. Okay. And the third one is, of course, you could train Aris in virtual reality, how to use it. Oh, okay. And of those three use cases, which one are we seeing here today at CIBA? We picked uh, the uh, option where we train a specific process. Here it is very simplified. You pick up a parcel and move it over to another uh, table. But in reality, you wouldn't go for such a simple process. You would go for the high-risk and high-cost processes, like um, uh, emergency at the oil plant or something like this. Um, maybe maintenance of um, high-value uh, machines in CPU production. Okay. Well, thank you. You're welcome. So University Relations typically has these wonderful showcases. And I was wondering, what's so special about this showcase this year? Yeah. We had wonderful showcases, in fact. Uh, so we had uh, very high-ranking names here. Uh, CERN, for example, with an Alpama showcase that was great. We had uh, the Life Savings app uh, with our Web Methods mobile app designer. And we had um, uh, strong collaborations on the Internet of Things with TU Darmstadt from Germany. So that was great. And uh, But this year, we are so happy to have the customer attraction and <laughs> yeah. we are right in the in the main entrance uh, area here and uh, yeah we are very grateful to have such a wonderful virtual reality showcase this year well you mentioned that the university relations showcase became this customer attraction um, how did that happen oh yeah uh, when I saw that showcase well a predecessor of that showcase um, at the IT summit in Germany uh, 2016 I was very sure I had to bring that showcase to CB this year and I'm so grateful to all those uh, fellow um, co-workers who made that happen together with university relations to create such a wonderful uh, booth and such an attractive thing and uh, if you happen to see what happens inside the virtual reality you are just flashed. Yeah I've seen inside of it. it's really really cool. Um, so you mentioned the IT Summit in Saarbrücken this year, um, and I saw it then and I saw it now, and there's definitely been some changes. Um, what's changed since the IT Summit? Well, first of all, it was a predecessor. 
and that uh, research project, the ELISA research project, is still not finished. So what we see here is the potential of learning within a 3D environment. And I think uh, every manager in charge of uh, critical workflows, in charge of critical work results, should be aware of such a 3D environment like that uh, to well, way, way before productivity, in fact, uh, to ensure that safety and uh, success can be ensured. Okay, well, thank you.